never ever wear thongs in the Black Forest. Come today and find out why. My name is a thong and this is my song <laughs> as we're walking along playing ping pong <laughs> we're so cute. my wife's got OCD sit up I am sitting up hi everyone welcome to learning brave I'm Skylar and I'm Ross today we are going on an adventure to the Black Forest in Germany one of the things my wife really wanted to do when we went to Europe yes is to put herself in books <laughs> she loves doing that hang on where's my wife gone so the black forest the the iconic scene of Grimm's like the fairy tales me of every fairy tale red riding hood hansel and gretel and it's called the black forest and I'd seen pictures on Pinterest of like gnarly trees. Gnarly. Why'd you do that in American accent? Because I needed to be like gnarly. It's true. I wanted to live a Grimm's fairy tale. Yes. So. <laughs> so we started with food. Food, yes. Food had to be the so beginning. So we were going on an adventure to the Black Forest. We couldn't afford to stay in the Black Forest. No. So we actually stayed like three hours away in Was France. It yes. Because. We thought we found this really cheap place in France and we're like, oh, let's just go to a different country. Tricky way to find cheap accommodation. But on a map, it wasn't like a like a topographical map. What, is that the word? No, that's not right. Topographical? <laughs> topographical. It's not, not the apocrypha here, babe. <laughs> I love, I love the things you say sometimes. <laughs> it was in one of those maps that show mountains. Yes. It was just Google Maps. So it looked really close, but really it was like up this mountain. So it took us three hours to get to the Black Forest. That's fine. We learned. Okay. It was, it was going to be worth it. So we drove three hours whew, to get to the Black Forest. And the first thing, food. So we were like, Black Forest equals Black, Black Forest, Forest cake. cake. But we were hungry and it was lunch, so we wanted to do like a traditional German feast first. Biggest mistake we made that day. <laughs> Maybe. There was a few. But we went to the restaurant, we said, please give us a traditional Black Forest meal. Like, we were going to splash out. Like, this was really special because normally we eat from home and we do everything we can, yep. from, or from Aldi. Aldi? to save money. Like in Germany, we pretty much drove around eating sausages all day from Aldi. Yeah, the Aldi, um, what were they? The Aldi Cabana and the sausages. Yeah. Oh. We like lived on sausages. Oh yeah. But we were like, I mean, you only, we may only come to the Black Forest once. Yeah. And if you're going to experience a country, you got to experience the food. Yep. So we were like, all right. We're expecting something amazing. Yeah, something traditional and exciting. I, you can sing that. Traditional and exciting. Tradition, tradition. So Unfortunately, the Black Forest meal that was served to us was... Like the grossest thing we've ever eaten. It, it was, was look, like... Let's be honest, it was bloody awful. It cost a fortune. 90 euros. I thought it was 70. 90 euros. 90 euros. Who'd admit that? Out came platters of, small platters of jellied meat. Jellied meat, pickles, onions, cabbage, and, that, and, and more, more jellied, jellied meat. meat. I mean, it looked like, it looked like a can of cat food, <laughs> no, or dog food, <laughs> that had been like shaken out of the can and sliced, <laughs> put on a tray here. Please pay 40 euros for this slice of dog meat. Here, have your dog meat. Eat it up now. Schnell. Schnell. <laughs> we love Germans, we by the way. We love yeah, we you, love Germans. Germans. <laughs> love it. We got this, this 
disgusting food. And there was one piece of corned beef. And we know what corned beef is. We love corned yeah, beef. Yeah, we all, we're all so eating So we're that. all like fighting over the piece of corned beef. And while well, there was like this gross meat. But like we're the parents and we're the examples. So we're like trying to act like it was great. <laughs> trying to act like, well, I think I um, remember that we're like, no, come on, we need to come try on, this stuff. It's traditional. And the kids yeah, are like, okay, mum and dad, you try it first. We're like, we're like all right, and we go. <laughs> and then when we spat it out, it was all over. They were going to touch it. like a blood sausage. Oh, it was gross, man. <laughs> so gross. We paid a fortune for grossness. And then we... Good start to the day it was. Oh, yeah. Great start. And then they didn't serve Black Forest cake. You're kidding me. You're kidding me. No Black Forest cake in the Black Forest? What? That's it. I'm not going. So, Black Forest. I wanted to like eat black forest cake and read Hans Christian Andersen and immerse myself in all things German. So we had an interesting <laughs> start to the day, didn't we? Yes. So the food failed, but we were like, it's all right. We're going to go and have this amazing, maybe there'll be some cake later on. We'll pass a nice little place and have cake. So Like we're a like, roadside stall of black forest cake. Yeah, that's what we're hoping <laughs> would appear. So if only. <laughs> if only. So we continued on our journey and we just drove around the forest. Now, I did not see any amazing, impressive, gnarly trees because we just come from Bavaria where the forest is like amazing. It's like a the... unicorn forest. Yeah, and so unfortunately, the black forest was a little bit underwhelming. We go, <laughs> we, we just drove to some random spot and I had in my head, I had this picture of this moment like because life's about memories it's about stories that you create as a family and we were going to sit together as a family in the black forest on our picnic blanket on our picnic blanket and read hands christian anderson together and like in the black forest and my children were going to remember this moment all Forever. their lives yeah and they were going to be like Mum, thank you. You're, you're imagining them at their wedding saying, I just want to thank my mum for taking us to the Black Forest and experiencing Grimm's fairy tales. Is that what you're imagining? Yeah. Yeah, I don't doubt it. Okay. <laughs> so, we arrived and I told Ross to bring the pram. The pram is the stroller for Americans out there. Um, because we had a young baby and we thought if we bring the pram, we can just... He might sleep in it. He might it. sleep and yeah, we can all like, just be sitting and, and then reading. he'll and... be taken care of and the rest of us can sit on the blanket. He won't be like crawling off and eating bugs or anything. In the forest. In the forest. My preferred footwear are thongs. Footwear. Footwear. Not underwear. Footwear. <laughs> Here it is. This is what I mean by a thong. So I walked carrying a pram into the forest, the black forest, wearing thongs. Wearing thongs, thongs, <laughs> not a mankini, a thong. Okay, and uh, I thought that would be smart until I realised that there was bugs and mosquitoes and all sorts of stuff and stinging nettles. Well, it wasn't so bad until after the picnic. Everywhere first, there first was stinging we like, nettles. He was complaining a bit, so we were like, "It's okay, stop, and we'll have our picnic in a moment." So we laid we laid our towels down created a little picnic spot and the kids didn't want to but I was like sit be happy make a memory <laughs> and I started reading like some Grimm's fairy tale <laughs> how long did that last the baby was screaming the other kids were like oh, I'm getting bitten ah! like there were bugs <laughs> everywhere like biting ants and flying oh my gosh so many bugs Maybe didn't, three didn't really minutes. Work. Didn't really work. It was terrible. It was like at their wedding, they'd be like, yeah, mum. Lame. Remember that time you took me to the Black Forest? I was really crushed. <laughs> so instead we thought, look, let's forget the picnic idea. Let's just scoff some food down and let's just go in and let's play in the forest. But we thought it'd be great to take the pram in so that the baby could have a sleep while we we're doing that, right? Well, we'd already taken into the picnic spot and by then it's too late. Just keep going. We'll just, just keep going. So Ross is like, what do I do with the pram? I'm like, carry it. Carry it. So I pick up this pram with a baby in it 
and I start trompsing through the black forest in my thongs. Yes, in my thongs. And he was so cranky. He's like, I was, what am I doing? <laughs> not only were there bugs, but I re soon realized that there were stinging nettles carpeting the forest floor. And I was getting stung all over the place. It was, it was not really the adventure that I had envisaged. <laughs> we had a little wander through the forest with Ross complaining the whole time. Complaining. And then we stopped and luckily the kids had brought along their swords. Yep. Which you do when you're traveling around Europe. And we found a good spot that didn't have stingy nettles. And we had a sword fight. <laughs> A great sword, an epic, and epic sword fight. So sometimes your adventures do not go as you plan, but it still makes for a good story. It does. And of course that day couldn't end any better um, than if we ended it off with a, just a random a random strip swimming. and swim strip and swim random strip and swim because we were in germany we're in europe <laughs> got to be like the europeans so we had the strip and swim and we had a great little uh um bathing session in a random lake on the way home <laughs> you know that you're swishing around in my pee <laughs> <laughs> so one day if you ever plan on traveling to the black forest wear some footwear maybe some bug spray do not take a pram three very solid tips from the gilberts <laughs> okay thank you for joining us today we will see you next time for more fun crazy stories and tips and tricks on how to travel if you would like to learn more go to learningbrave.com and check it all out all right see you Bye, later guys. I have a funny thong story. I love thongs. Like, now we're used to it, we've been around Americans a lot, so we interchange the word thongs with flip flops. But in the beginning, I forgot all the time. And yeah. So I, I just forgot. And so I remember we were in Guatemala and I was complaining. I snapped, like, because the road is so uneven. Yeah. I, like, broke, like, this bit pulled out of two pairs. And I was so mad because they were really good ones. And I was complaining to my friends. I was like, I've broken two pairs of thongs. I'm so annoyed. I don't know where to get more. And <laughs> two American and friends. Going, and they were like, how did you break them? <laughs> and I was like, bit rough. just walking down the street. <laughs>